Scorpio, hi. This is going to be a reading for February 28th through March 6th. And I'll um, take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future, if I can shuffle. Um, these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Now, let's see. Uh, she came over. I couldn't stop her, and I'm not gonna. Um, I'm just gonna shift myself a little bit with the reading towards on this side. But she wants to be here. And Scorpio, she's a Scorpio. She gets to be here for this reading. So, kind of get it. I'm like, okay. But let's see. It's gonna be a little hard. But we'll make it happen. When a Scorpio wants something, she's coming and sitting on my table, apparently. So, and there, there's Scorpio. There you are. All right. Oh, man. The overall energy for the reading. I get it. Why she's here? The Five of Pentacles. A sense of abandonment. Uh, could be a breakup. Could be a separation. I don't know exactly. We'll see. But. In the recent past, the King of Swords, the Tower, the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, someone created this tower. Someone created something nasty here. Uh, I'm not sure. Nah, they knew what they were doing. I don't know if that's you or somebody tied up to you, but whoever this is knew what they were doing. Uh, but they did it so that they can have something new out of a situation that who knows what the hell happened in that situation. So it kind of like their, their plan was... I'm going to wreck this in order for it to, to birth something new, eventually. So, I don't know. In the current situation, the Nine of Wands, the Three of Wands, the King of Cups, there you are. There you are waiting and not, not liking that you're waiting. You're waiting for something. And it's like, yeah, but I, I really don't like it. But I'm still going to wait. In the immediate future, the Ten of Pentacles, the Death card, the Ace of Swords, you're creating these endings. You're creating your your ending particular things, and that tells me you're in a pretty massive growth uh, but it's the rough one. It's the one where things fall off from your life, which is going to be quite rough. Because uh, I feel like you're the one pressing the buttons. You're the one that gets to decide what goes, what stays. And a lot of it is going. Um, and that's the place. It's very transformative. It's going to be very challenging. And it's a very painful process. Um, so it's not going to be pretty here. Let's clarify. But you're pretty. Yeah. Yeah, she chooses a spot and then she falls asleep. Usually it's around me or on top of me. And then see me standing there for hours because I'm like, I don't want to wake her up. Look how pretty she is. Five of Pentacles. You get the Ace of Wands, the Hangman, the King of Swords. Yeah, it's like, and you're coming in with this energy of, I gotta end this, I gotta do this. Trying to buy time, trying to be like, I know I have to do this. And I will. But give me a minute. You know, with the hangman here, you know, you're like, give me a minute. But in your head, and you've got a lot of determination, you got a lot of knowledge, you, you're in that place of knowing exactly what you have to do about something here. But still trying to trick time here, trying to be like, Hold your horses. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know why you're trying to to trick this energy here or to kind of delay this process. But you are. Let's do the King of Swords. Four of Cups. The High Priestess. The Five of Swords. You know that this delay is actually self-sabotaging. You know that it's not. The minute you got it, especially up here, that I need to do something, that means that the energies are already in place. 
the energies are the first one to take the first ones to take place by the time it gets to us it takes a while so if you align yourself fully with an energy that means that you already know the energy is there you already know you're at that place of i have to do this but you're not doing it and you're very unhappy that you're not which is showing me and then the, the five of swords is there attached to your intuition you're being led to end the situation here and you're not you keep on delaying it you're not liking it because you feel your alignment with the energies but you're still delaying it so it's, it almost feels like you're waiting for divine intervention like maybe i don't have to do it maybe something is going to happen that's going to bring this ending like naturally without me having to to do it i believe that one was on you i believe it was on you to create it not for a divine intervention here for the tower you get the ten of cups the devil the three of pentacles okay so possibly switching from an energy that previously it did show up as love but it was the toxic kind of love it was the unhealthy kind of love so kind of creating that shift from how do i shift this energy from love into let's just be friends let's you know let's try this in a different way because this is obviously not working out like this so it's like recognizing where love does show up as love love pure love or toxic love you know and it's not in your head as i desire for this to work out for this to be love kind of dealing with the reality what is it is it pure love or is it not so I see you stepping into that understanding of differentiating between the reality and your fantasy over what you want it to be. But having to really take action and really based on your realization, really decide what you want to do about this. And I do see a shift from unhealthy love into let, let's, let's step it down a notch. Let's try to be friends. Let's see if that works out. Let's do the Nine of Wands in the current situation. You get the Queen of Swords, the King of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords. Yeah, there's still some resistance there. There's still some pain. There's still some stressing out. Even if the energies have shifted from one place to another, possibly between the two of you, there's still something there. There's still something that keeps you on edge and them possibly on edge too. Um, let's do the three of wands okay so i guess you just switched sides i thought she was gonna go and i'm gonna get to drag my cards but no she's gonna be here for a while uh for the three of wands you get the four of wands the knight of wands the eight of wands lots of wands in here It's like opening up to honest conversation. It's like whatever you feel you have to say, you want to say. And you're starting to open up to it. Um, it's been a long time coming here. There's a discussion here that seems to be honest, seems to come from a place of I feel this and I feel this and I feel this. It's honest. It might not be pretty, but it's coming from a place of honesty. At least on your side, you want it to. She has a very soft meow. I don't even know if you heard her. She did it here and then she did it there. Uh, okay. Hold on. Hold your first. So, on your side, you're showing up as really open to honestly stating how you feel about a particular commitment here you have with someone. Let's do the King of Cups, the Strength card, the Knight of Pentacles, the Six of Swords. Yeah, I mean, you're not forcing this energy. You're definitely stepping into a place of, uh, coming from a place of love in this situation um, and not trying to push it, kind of going with the flow of it, but at the same time detaching from it, at the same time not emotionally tying yourself up to the situation so if this 
conversation or situation is not turning into something beautiful, you kind of understand you have no control over it and that it takes two to tango. Yes, you're open to it. Yes, you're willing to do this, that, and the other. But if the other energy is not, you're not showing me a place of, oh my God, I hate them. Why aren't they? Blah, 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 blah. Maybe in the past you were there. Right now you're not showing me that. You're showing me that you're open to whatever comes. Even with, you know, even to their not cooperating in this, if that happens. Let's do the Ten of Pentacles in the immediate future. The Seven of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, the Eight of Swords. Ooh, you're going from the Two of Swords to the Eight of Swords. That's quite frustrating. I feel like this this is more tied up to your stability, possibly your material stability. And I do see a lot of uh, stressing out about it. I do see things working out, but possibly not working out in the way that you may want them to work out. And that stresses the hell out of you here by the looks of it. I see you overthinking, I see you overanalyzing, I see you stressing about it and feeling stuck in this place of what do I do about it? Because I feel like you, you reached a certain level of growth within possibly your material growth situation, but then you feel a sense of stuck, but it's because you're stuck about it in your head. And as long as you're stuck about it in your head, your energy, the one that's participating in, it, in this, is also stuck. Let me see the death card. Five of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, the Justice card. Yeah, there's a little bit of conflict. There's a little bit of argument with yourself over the material again. Um, there seems to be a lot of back and forth. There seems to be a lot of changing your minds. There almost seems to be a restructuring of things. There almost seems to be that energy of, I got to end this in order to start this. But I feel like it's kind of underneath it all where you can't quite see that happening in, in, in that way, at least. For you on the surface, it may show up as, I don't know what to do about this anymore. I feel like I'm stuck. What do I do? You know, uh, underneath it all, that energy of restructuring is coming into place big, big time. Let's do the Ace of Swords in the immediate future. The Tower, the Magician, the King of Wands. And you've got the power to create change here, to create whatever outcome you want here. Problem is you're scared. You're scared that you're going to fail. You're scared that you're going to create all sorts of commotions here that are not needed, especially when everything is so complicated already. And it's complicated because it comes from a place of confusion within your mind. But if you step back from your mind and just step back from the situation completely and observe it, it's not that complicated. We tend to complicate it. Um, again, Underneath it all, I see that energy, that potential energy of, I decide if something stays or something goes. And it applies here too. You're just not necessarily seeing it like that here. You know, not yet. But the King of Wands and the Magician kind of give me a good vibe here in terms of whatever it is you're manifesting over this. And whatever action you're going to take over this, I feel like it's going to be okay even though you're scared that you're going to ruin everything. And even if you ruin everything, it, it'll still be for you to learn something out of it. And it's going to be helpful. I, I see that tower there and I know you're worried about it. Um, but I don't see it as being a problem. And if, even if it shows up like that, you're going to be okay. You know, uh, let's see what the universe has to close it off. Two of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Four of Wands. Yeah, 
you're you're dealing with there's a commitment that's shown back up again here and i feel like the way you're dealing with this commitment is shown up in a very different way than it did before there's still some indecision there there's still some mm, what if i'm not making the right decision about it there but overall you're learning to deal with the situation in a different way and if the energies within it are changing let's say from that loving crazy you know that's the ice being shaken from the trees uh changing from there into hey let's take a step back from our emotions and let's see if we can be friends or be you know on the same page about you know I don't know, there's definitely a shift within a commitment here tied up to you and you're still learning how to deal with it, basically. So, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.